three crewmen who will fly Apollo 10 to the moon are all veterans of the Gemini program. Commander for the mission is Thomas P. Stafford, who flew as pilot on module pilot is John W. Young, who was pilot for Gemini 3. Lunar module pilot is Eugene A. Thurman, who occupied sent back to Earth. Apollo 10, uh, like all of the other previous flights on the Saturn V, that is Apollo 8 and Apollo 9, will lift off in Cape Kennedy. Flying uh, on the Saturn V, it will go through its normal uh, procedures of burning the first stage, where shortly thereafter the uh, escape tower will be jettisoned. It will be on the S2, or the second stage of the launch vehicle, for about uh, six or seven minutes, at which time uh, that engine, those engines will cut off and we will then be riding this much of the vehicle, staging off, and the Saturn S-4B stage, or the third stage of the Saturn, will then carry us into orbit around the Earth. There will then be enough fuel remaining, such that after about one and a half revolutions around the Earth, this engine will be relit and inject us onto a trajectory uh, which puts us on a collision course with the moon, or rendezvous with the moon. Uh, shortly after uh, the burnout of this engine, the uh, separation of the adapter which holds the lunar module inside it will be blown off and the command module, command and service module will then be free. It will fly, uh, turn around and come back and dock with the lunar module and then it, by a series of, of mechanical devices will eject the lunar module and the command and service module and we will then use up all of the necessary parts of the S-4B so that we end up going towards the moon with this much of the vehicle.